Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you multiple ways you can add custom code to your WordPress website. You might be asking, why do you need to add custom code? It just opens up so many ways on how you can add that cherry on top for your websites that your theme or builder just doesn't offer. I have made multiple videos about all sorts of effects you can add to your site with custom code, plus the actual code snippets. So definitely check those out if you're looking for some inspiration or actually just steal from me. I, I allow it, steal it all. <laughs> so these are the options, how you can add code. You can edit the theme file and adjust the code there, but that's not recommended. You can add custom CSS through your themes customization options, and you can add custom code with a builder. I'm using WP Bakery and it allows adding CSS, JavaScript, and HTML. Plus, you can use the built-in AI feature to ask to generate custom code. So this is a very nice option for people who aren't developers but still want to take advantage of custom code. Okay, let's start with the base of every WordPress website, which is the theme. Most themes will allow to add custom CSS through their uh, theme customizer. Let me show you where you can find it. So go to appearance and uh, customize. And uh, this is where you find all the options. Your theme allows you to customize. I'm using the visual composer starter theme. Um, so these are the options. And at the very bottom, you have additional CSS where you would add some CSS if you need to. Um, if you want to add additional CSS to a specific page, you open that page, you have to be logged in and then click on customize. And now we're back here again, click on additional CSS and we can add additional CSS. Um, let me show you an example. Uh, let's say you want uh, these texts to be, I don't know, all bold. If you are not that familiar with CSS, you can obviously ask ChatGPT. but uh, there's also this amazing service where um, this resource where you can find all the information, maybe learn a little bit as well about it, um, which I would suggest anyway. But for example, here under font style, you see font weight. Bold is exactly what we are looking for. So that was font weight bold. So you will actually, the good thing about this, it will give you some uh, recommendations here. So you can't really go wrong and bold. Ah, do you see it? It's very subtle. <laughs> it was very subtle. Uh, let's do it again. Bold. Not bold. Bold. Not bold. And this is how you would do it. You can play around with the code however you want here. Okay, and if you're using any of the new default WordPress themes like 2024, 2023, um, they're using a very similar way. Let me show that to you again. Go to Appearance, Editor, and it is hiding under Styles. Click on the little edit icon right here. They really don't want you to add custom CSS. <laughs> it's so hard to find. And here, additional CSS. And this is where you would add it. The next option is that you can also adjust the actual theme file, but it is not recommended for multiple reasons. It can break the site. You can lose customization after any updates. You can lose all the new updates that the theme might introduce because you have adjusted the theme file. There are security risks and you have no live preview. So it is not recommended. But if for any reason you choose to do that, let me show you where that is because I don't know your reasons. You might have them. So you would go back to appearance and theme file editor. And that's where you do it. If you want to adjust um, the CSS or all the styling of your page that will be located. That will be located right here under CSS in the 
style CSS page. So again, we adjusted the um, H4s. You click anywhere in the code and then we can do, uh, and then we can search. We can do H4. And then here, for example, we can change the font size for all H4s, the whole theme, whole site. Again, this will adjust all the changes globally to your whole site. So use this with caution. You have that information, but maybe use the other options. <laughs> I saved the best option for last because it offers the most options and it is actually the most intuitive and the easiest to use. That is, of course, WP Bakery. <laughs> it allows you to not only add custom code to the page, it allows you to add custom code to every element and it offers you to generate the code for you as well. Let's just jump in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this is the same page here at the top at the page settings. You can add custom CSS right here. You can add custom JS right here and that will be applied to the whole page. So you can go the same route as we did before with the H4s, for example. Uh, do this again. Can you see it? You see it? Change to bold. But you can go so much deeper than that. If you are not that familiar with CSS, here is the AI button. Here you ask, for example, generate CSS. Uh, that will make all H4 lowercase. I don't want that, but just to, just to show you. Ba -ba -ba. Insert save. And now every single one of these have turned into lowercase letters. Um, this might be helpful the other way around <laughs> when you've started in lowercase or the first letter uppercase and you want to just change all of it. You just do it here in the code and you don't have to go manually change everything um, if you've decided you want to go another route. Now, let me clear this up and show you how much deeper can you go with this. With WP Bakery and a little bit of custom code, you can literally put anything that's in your mind <laughs> onto the page and that goes way beyond the features that any builder or anything can offer um, in this case. Um, the first thing that came to my mind is, for example, when I hover on these images, um, the image changes to, for example, this image is like the open uh, image of an orange and I want the actual orange. Um, so I want that to happen on hover. So I ask chat GPT generate CSS that will switch from the original image to this image, I already uploaded the image that I wanted to the media library and got the URL. You can use a URL for any other image on hover. So we don't need the HTML. We just need the CSS. We copy the code, go back to the page settings, paste the code. And here in the description for ChatGPT, you can see that the image container contains the original image. So we go back right here and we take, we save this one and we go to our original image and put that as an extra class name. And it almost worked. And I know exactly what went wrong here. So that here it shows that the image container, the original image, is 300 pixels by 300 pixels. But I know that my image is 350 and 190 pixels. So what I do here, I adjust it. And that wasn't correct. And we have it right here. And works perfectly. So this is just, <laughs> this was just one example of what I came up with, what we can do here real time with our page. And that's not even all WP Bakery can offer when it comes to custom code. Um, for example, you're scrolling through CodePen. 
which is a very popular uh, resource for these effects and code. Um, and you find this. You need one of these checkbox styles on your page for some reason. <laughs> but if it needs you to add HTML, CSS. So we actually wrote an article and I already told you about the video about some effects that you can use on your page. Let's scroll down to the one that I mentioned uh, right now. And yeah, here we go. The source is here, right on pen, right on code pen, and you want to use it. So what you would do here is uh, you can add a raw HTML element right here. Just copy and paste the code like I just showed you um, here. As you can see for this particular example, it's slide one, slide two. Um, so you have to find slide one and slide two. Okay. Here is your slide one. I don't have my glasses. <laughs> So here it shows you slide one. I do not have my glasses. Um, you would put this, but that's not it because HTML does not style the element. So you go back to your CSS and you copy slide one, the CSS for slide one. Bup, bup, bup. That's already slide two, end of slide one. Ah. Yes. And you have the element and you have the element. Let's view the page. And you have your little slider here. So the possibilities are literally endless. Go look for code snippets. Go check out the inspiration of, of the ones that I have found and uh, steal it, try it. Just you can do so much more with a little bit of custom code. So take advantage of that. And I hope this helped and I'll see you in the next one.